In this video, we'll be going over subsets too. So given integer array nums that may contain duplicates, return all possible subsets to power set. The solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. Return the solution in any order. So in our first example, we have nums, which is one, two, two. So we're trying to generate all power sets and each element inside the input array can only be used once. Let's go over the doc process. We will be implementing a recursive backtracking approach for each of the elements x inside the input array at index i after adding x to our current subset we will continue our search from i plus 1 this is because each of the elements can only be used once so we want to continue to search forward then after accounting for x we will want to backtrack our steps to give space for the next number or the next elements and allow us to find the next subset. This can be done by removing the last elements that was added into our current subset. Now a side case we have to consider is the solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. This means we, we will need to sort the input array in ascending order. S since the solution sets must not contain duplicates, we must sort the input array in ascending order. This will allow us to group duplicate numbers together. Then for each of the, then if we have already used a, a, a element, an element y for index j in, inside our subset, we will want to skip all of the future occurrences of j inside our subset. This will allow us to uh, this will prevent, allow us to prevent duplicate subsets. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to sort the input array in ascending order. This, this will allow us to group the duplicate numbers together. And, um, and then we're going to create our list or our list of list results to keep track of all subsets. And then we're going to implement our recursive backtracking approach. And then what parameters do we need? We first need i, our current starting index searching forward, our current starting index. Because we want to continue to search rightward, we do not want to use the same element more than once. And then we have our nums, the input array, and then we have subset, the current subset we're generating, and the results is the list of all subsets. And then what is the base case? Oh, this is actually no base case because we're just going to iterate through from i to the end of the array. So we can just say in each of the recursive call, we can add a copy of our current subset to result because we want all of the possible power sets. And then we're going to iterate through the indices from i to the end of the array. So lums not length minus one. We're going to denote this as j. Then if i, if j is not equal to i and the previous elements at j minus 1 is equal to the current elements, we want to skip the current element. This will allow us to prevent duplicate subsets. We can just say continue to the next iteration. Then we want, if the current number is not the same as the previous number, we can add the current number to subset. And then we can recursively find the rest of the elements. elements in our subset from j plus 1. And then we want to backtrack our steps to give space for the next elements and allow us to find the next subset. So remove the last element from subset. And then after all of this, we can return our result. Let's go over the code. So we first sort the input array in ascending order. And then we can implement, um, we're going to create our result list first before we implement the recursive approach. 
the array list, and then we can return result after. And then we can implement our recursive backtracking approach, nums our current subset, so it's new array list, and our resulting subset is our results. Our current starting index, input array, our current subset, and our list of all subsets. Now we want to add a copy of our current subset into our results because we do not want to pass a reference of subset into our result. Then we're going to iterate through from the starting index to the end of the array. If the current elements, if j is not equal to i, and the current elements is equal to the previous elements, this means we want to skip it to prevent duplicate subsets. We're going to add our current number into our subset, and then we're going to implement our recursive backtracking approach starting from j plus 1 to find the rest of the elements. And then we're going to backtrack our steps by removing the last elements from our current subset. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.